Marshall Cowens has been at Belmont Correctional Facility in Ohio for 25 years. When the first dogs came in, it was like, what's that? Because you hadn't seen a real dog. He figures it's been at least 16 years since he's actually seen a dog. Kind of like went up and it was a little yellow lab and she was eight weeks old and I kind of like sat down and she jumped up and licked me in the face. And it was like, it took a minute, but after that, I just, I, I wanted to get the program. Marshall has been in the program for five years and has loved every minute of it, except for the times when he finds himself in between dogs. It's been three weeks and I'm having withdrawals and everybody has to put up with me because I'm snappy and I'm like, you know, well, I don't have a dog, I don't care, <laughs> you know, that type of stuff. But um, you miss it because, I mean, the dog goes everywhere with you. You're used to getting up, looking, seeing the dog, dog's looking at you, you know. Everywhere you go, the dog is part of it, you know. So when you don't have that, it's like, well, your best friend just left. The prison dog programs in America have produced a new breed of inmates, professional dog handlers and trainers. Marshall is proud to be one of them. The biggest thing with the dog, you have to bond with the dog. The, the dog has to learn to trust you. And then the more, the deeper the bond, the easier the dog is to train. This is a mild matter one. So Today, Marshall gets to meet his ninth dog, a short Australian cattle dog mix named Brenda. What's her name? Brenda. Brenda. Yeah. Brenda. The dogs have taught me to, it kind of sounds silly, but to love again. Rusty. What? You hear some music? Come here. Frank Zappo is another lifer and also one of the premier prison dog handlers. So far, he's saved the lives of 12 dogs. They have some behavioral problems, and we correct those and make them adoptable. They were taken out of shelters where they were going to be put down. And, you know, this guy doesn't deserve to be put down. None of these guys, they're good dogs. We haven't had any bad, bad dogs. We had some dogs with little behavioral problems, like us. Word started getting out. People started requesting dogs from the prison because they were just so obedient. So, and that kind of that made us feel good, you know, that our dogs were somehow special. So that made us feel good, even though we know you're special. Aaron, come here. A shining example of the dog program's positive influence is Oregon's McLaren Youth Correctional. The young men have started a successful newspaper column and website to share their experiences with the dogs. To date, some 300 offenders who have participated in Project Pooch have been released from McLaren. To our knowledge, at this, at this point in time, there has not been a youth that have graduated from the Pooch program that has been convicted of a crime in the community. Since 1981, prison dog programs have been adopted by 65 prisons in 26 states, and more join every year. You've got the stereotype of guys like me, or, or what people think of the guys like me. And they decided to take a chance on us. And I, I'm, I'm grateful that all those people did take a chance on us, because this is a phenomenal thing. It seems like only good things happen when you put dogs in prison. Across the board, dogs have relieved tension and reduced prison violence. The programs have saved the lives of dogs and maybe inmates too, giving them a chance to give back. My deeply held belief is that we as a society are better off if you've got people coming out of prison with skills, with a higher sense of self-esteem, with the ability to feel and display emotion, and with the feeling that they've contributed to society than we are if people are getting out just having pumped iron or watched TV for 15 years.
You're on Animal Planet. Our crime-solving series, Busted, is next. These all real cases range from benign to bizarre. They are connected by one thing. They all involve animals. Go on the manhunts, unravel the mysteries, and always see the bad guys get busted. Next on Animal Planet. And dig up Animal Planet at discovery.com.